In September of last year, the folks at G3CNC contacted me and told me they were putting together a plug-and-play CNC controller for the hobbyists. So they asked me if I would be interested in receiving one of these, checking it out, and kind of doing a review on it. So I said, sure, when you get one ready, send it to me and I'll be happy to, to do a video on it. So today, I'm going to shoot this short video and kind of tell you about this CNC controller show you what all comes with it and then we're going to try it out on the machine I have over the here. The G3 CNC plug and play controller comes in this nice uh, steel enclosure. It's uh, 16 gauge steel and it's powder coated one of my favorite colors, machine tool gray. On this side it's got a uh, male socket with a lighted power switch. On this side right here You've got a couple of fans. I think these, uh, I believe they're 80 millimeter, and they uh, have one blowing in and one uh, turn to exhaust the air from there. And then, of course, this right here is the business end of the of the uh, controller. You see, it's, it's four axis. It's got X, Y, Z, and A. It's got nice uh, uh, aircraft connectors there. It's got a place for three outputs here, and then it's also got an e-stop, which is included. It's already got a uh, pretty good length of cable here to plug the e-stop in right there. It's got uh, connections for touch plate, limit switches, and then it also comes with a cable right here that what you can use for your spindle. This is a three-wire these others, he's, he includes three cables here that are ready to add either your touch plate, uh, some limit switches, whatever you might want to add there. He's got this one marked as touch plate and this marked as uh, limit switch. Also comes of course with a power cord and a uh, USB cable that will connect right here and then connect to your computer. The stepper motors are four of these uh, 425 ounce NEMA 23's. They have the nice aircraft connector on those and he also provides four of these cables uh, that go right here uh, with this end and of course the other male end goes to the uh, stepper motor. So all in all a very nice unit. They emailed me the two files that I need to set this up. It was super easy it's just the driver file that I simply loaded into the plug-in directory of Mach 3 and I can show you how to do that. I've done that in past videos. And also the XML file with all the settings so everything's ready to set up. I just load it into the computer, put the driver in the plug-in folder, and turn it on and it's ready to go. So enough talk. Let's get this thing set up on a machine and let's see how it cuts. Okay, to add those two files that I need to run the G3 CNC controller. I'll just come to my desktop here and find the, the driver and the uh, XML file. Here it is. And I'll just copy both of those, come over here to my Mach 3 main directory, and I'll just paste both of those in. And then I will go to the uh, find that driver because it doesn't need to be in this directory and I'll click it again and cut it and then come up here and put it in the plugins folder right here. And you can see that I already have one in, in there. Okay and that's all there is to that.
Okay, so there we go. There's the G3 CNC controller. Uh, I have to say my first thoughts are I have to give it a, a thumbs up for sure. It's a pretty neat little controller. It's very well made and as you saw it performs very well on this old Sidewinder CNC. So if you want to check them out go to g3cnc.com and you can find all the information a lot more details than what I give you here in this short video. But check them out and uh, I guess that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for all my new subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed to this video, please click the subscribe link below and hit the little bell so you get the notifications when I put out a new video. And other than that, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.